Yes, indeed. We're back. Maybe you, you didn't want us back. You, you noticed there was a gap. Out, you better not cry. How about just have yourself a no. merry little Christmas. And, uh, da, 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 da. no, we already did all those songs. Yuletide, what, what's a Yuletide song? A Yuletide meaning the looking forward part, the 2024. Well, we haven't even wrapped up 2023. Let's go back. Let's go back in the Wayback Machine. Have you heard about that? The Wayback Machine that gathers all the data that you ever uploaded to the internet and you can check the Wayback Machine where nothing ever gets deleted? Apparently nothing's deleted. Nothing. I could be in trouble if anybody wanted we to. We could. Research. The Jim and Terry show from seasons past because they're oh, all there. Season, the ghosts of seasons past. We are going to be in our thousandth podcast coming up Whoa. in the spring i believe we will hit it depending on how long well, look at you how popular talk. we are okay but last <laughs> our ones and twos bless you bobby the last <laughs> we uh, may not see eye to eye and you certainly don't agree with my leftist wokeism but you do comment thank you yeah stay tuned because this is not a political segment i do not think no we are looking uh, I Christmas think. and Christmas Day at the Wigmores here. Oh, we're just starting off with a brief reflection on that. Yes, the plumbing more or less well, got no, fixed. Yes, the got. turkey got sort of the <laughs> Chevy Chase version of the turkey. Yes, and, no snow. and we all survived, and we're here to talk about. And you you're don't enjoying have a tree chance. Up and you yeah, had COVID. so it was a bit of a lost Christmas. Did a you lost get Christmas. anything that just jumped out at you? Well, I got the standard grandpa stuff the way you did. Oh, cool. You know, socks, not quite underwear, socks and T-shirts and that kind of stuff. But yeah. I got journals to write in, messages to grandkids. Oh. I think the title was, yeah, something like that, message or a grandpa looks back. Something like that is for to you to pass on with wisdom to your grandkids. Ah. Oh. So it allows you to reflect and it has prompts. You've seen books that have a prompt. The best experience I ever had was, and you... Just read about it. And the first thing I remember about my grandkids is, and you get to talk oh, about that. Goodness. So it's got prompts. And, I need a lay down right now. Okay. Anyway, that's, but one that was very interesting for me was one from my youngest daughter who took the time to go through printed photographs in the boxes and took pictures on her cell phone and printed off ones and cropped them and presented to my wife and I, as her parents, the frame that had a collage of us through her eyes. Oh, that's now so cool. That you show was, me that if you would. Yeah, I would. I'll go up and get it at some point in our break. And uh, that's, that was meaningful because it was it's stuff I knew. It's me that I mm -hmm. knew, and I could remember the place and when and what. But it was through her eyes saying, oh, I never thought my dad looked like that. I, oh my, I had a bit of a swagger, apparently. Oh. A little bit of a, I was a little for strutting. I would have been one of those feathery rooster types. You know? <laughs> <laughs> At least that's the way I looked. And, of course, that's all through my university days. There were different looks. I, was, I know I, how I'm looking now. Fear. My, my kids are giving me Fitbits. And, uh, <laughs> and James said, I'd love to see you trimmed right down, Dad. What about doing that? So I'm going to try. Okay. Well, then we cut out the Baileys from our coffee, New Year's resolutions well, for 2024. Well, we only have two a year. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll put it off till next year. Yeah. We'll but, get any okay, continue bits. on. So okay. what else? Anything else? Um, mugs and... What Fresh else? baked goods from Jan. Oh, Jan. Well, it's the gifts that are stuff that you can consume that I enjoy. So all and my daughter baked some gingerbread too. So that was kind of, and I, I, of course nice. it's not real. Well, it is gingerbread. It's all stuff that she can consume because she can't have eggs, dairy, wheat. Um, I forget what uh, all of them are, but those are the three big ones. So try baking without dairy yeah, yeah. and without eggs. Uh, it's. It's that, really that would, tough. That would be yeah, so hard you, to do. It is hard to do. So we found recipes that we could do, and they were delicious. So an alternative menu, I think, was a good learning for this year. All right. Um, needless to say, with no grandkids around to sort of erupt in paper shredding, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was a quiet, organized Christmas. And my youngest daughter played Santa and distributed. You know, I don't know about you, but... I don't want to play Santa 
anymore. I just want to sit and That's watch. That's because you're starting to look like him. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to have to grow. Oh, 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 I'm going to have to grow your beard, and we can be the beardos <laughs> or the beardies. A couple of beardos. Hmm. Okay, so let's move on into um, 2023, and we're going to look back at some passings. What a strange, morbid thing to spend. But 2023 was not kind to actors, musicians, writers, and artists that we lost in 2023. And the year's not over. And the year's not over. So, oh, that's not looking forward very well. That's well, I just sp- heard this morning about yes. uh, the Smothers Brothers. We'll start with that, Tommy Smothers. Tommy Smothers, the latest that I know of, who's yes. passed away. Yeah. And uh, we have fond memories, both of us, of watching the Smothers Brothers show. Yes. And uh, they were hilarious, especially, uh, was it, was it? Was Tommy it? was the comedic one. Are you sure? Yes. He was the one who always had the other fellow had a mustache. Yeah, they both had really. Well, what was his name? <laughs> the other Smothers. Well, you should put it up I, because I, should I, look. I, I, should I got look a it feeling up. you might have them backwards. I think that it was the mustachey guy that, but who knows? Mustachey guy. Anyways, they were hilarious. They That's were Tommy funny. Smothers, and he's the one who passed away. Oh, really? okay. That's the funny guy. Yeah. Yep. All right, and Tommy. I don't know who the other one is. Dick Smothers. Oh, that's Dick. What Tommy and Dick. Yeah. And uh, uh, Tom Smothers would always look to his brother and go, Mother always liked you best. <laughs> yep, yep. He was hilarious. They were a funny team. They were. So that's that's one. But let's go through some of the list on here because it's, a, it's quite a notable who's who. And yeah. the first one at the top of the list was the American rock icon from hey, all David kinds Crosby. of bands. My first encounter with him was in The Birds. Yeah. It's David Crosby. He's been around a long time, and apparently he wasn't the best guy to get along with. No, and apparently he really wrestled with drugs, and he was incarcerated for a spell, had to go through a therapy for a spell. But maybe you're familiar with Eight Miles High. That's a great song. That is. And And apparently it wasn't about drugs. No. Apparently. But you could see why they would think it was. If I'm not mistaken, it was about the X-15, the first rocket plane. That something was like, being, something yeah. like that, yeah. Yeah, anyway, that's another one. Here's a composer that I happen to like. Oh, yeah. Burt you know. Bacharach, schmaltzy stuff, orchestrations is what he did. But let me name some of these. How about uh, raindrops keep falling on my head? So we know that from movies. And uh, that was from Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. What about um, what the world needs now is love, sweet love. It's the only thing. Yeah. Burt Bacharach had this romantic stuff. That's the only thing that there's too little of. Yes. Yeah. So it's beautiful. Beautiful stuff. So passing of Burt Bacharach. I always wanted to be able to write like him in that schmaltzy uh, show tune kind of way. They're, they're, these people are phenomenal because they're like a lot of the guys who wrote Christmas carols and stuff through the movies, White Christmas and stuff. They do it for a business, quite frankly, and somehow they just pull off such beauty. But they know what's going to grab the heart, and they know how to make a melody. And I think Burt Bacharach probably, that's, he knows how to make a song that's... Going to make you feel good and be a hit. And, it's gonna and he's fit, got dozens of hits. And it's going to fit in a movie somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a gift that keeps on giving. How about Harry Belafonte? Oh, uh, good old Harry Belafonte. Yeah. Uh, the best one? Deo. Deo. De let go, man, and I want to go home. Yeah, so the Banana Boat song. Wow. Um, amazing performer. Age 96. Yes, yeah, so David young, Crosby was so eighty-one. Young. <laughs> well, we like to think they're so young but because we're getting older. We are getting older, and they are sort of our not maybe not quite our peers. But how about Tina Turner? I love this one, the nineteen ninety-three one. What's love got to do? Got oh, to yeah, do with yeah. it? <laughs> yeah. What's love but a second-hand emotion? Yeah, okay, eighty-three. Yeah, she was quite a, well, she endured a lot. Ike Turner was quite the abuser. So there's a tale in there. 
Uh, there are other people, but maybe this one is familiar. It's because I love oh, crooning, yeah. Yeah. and I love the uh, Frank Sinatra era. Uh, this one is Tony Bennett. And, uh, yeah, that's he a, was the coolest guy right up until his death. I think so. He did. He performed with this one's mentioning Katie Lang and uh, Lady Gaga. Lady, Lady Gaga. Yeah. So I think Lady Gaga was one of the most recent ones. I think so. Yeah. So. And uh, you, you got to give kudos to her too. But uh, yeah, because she 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 did that duet as if he was her lover. You know. Yes. And. Uh, but Tony was that cool. <laughs> yes. Tony, yeah, me and him hung out. That's I'm calling him Tony, Mr. Yeah. Bennett. Mr. Bennett, yeah. Well, what a crooner. And that was, really, he peaked in the 50s, although he kept on going. Kept I mean, on going. Like another 70 years after that. I know. That's unbelievable. So there you go. How yeah. old was he when he died? I think he was. 96. Yes, 96. Wow. So good for him. And, and Sinead O'Connor there. Yes, Sinead O'Connor. So what do you yeah. remember of her? Well, I remember somehow at her own, seemed to be at her own doing uh, a, a dramatic fall from grace when she ripped up the picture of the Pope. Uh, and uh, That was at the beginning of the discovery of all the sexual abuse perpetrated on young mm. boys in the boys' choirs and altar boys by... Roman Catholic priests, and she called it out. The Pope didn't like it. She tore up his picture. That was it for Catholics who are very devout in their faith, and that means loyalty to the Pope no matter what. Now, I don't think, if that had have happened now, I think people would have given her a standing ovation and said, yeah, more power to you. As calling, uh, yeah, I don't know. Calling out abuse. She took it right to the stage. And yeah, I remember that one. Age 56. She had a rough... Uh, her son, I think, passed away by suicide, if I'm not really, mistaken. Yeah, yeah I so think there's, so. I think there's a right. lot of hardship. Yeah. Pee Wee Herman. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness. Okay. Yeah, creepy fellow. And uh, I did used to watch his show. The kids used to watch it as well. Uh, at age 70. So I wonder if there's some illness in there. Um, well, you would think. You yeah. would think. Because average age of a male is around 80 plus. We got a few years left in the tank there. Jimmy Buffett, oh my gosh, wasting away again yeah. in Margaritaville. And there's, uh, what's the other one that was so, oh, uh, uh, Perry. What's his name, Perry? Oh, yes, we started off at the top. Canadian, comedian, yeah. Matthew Perry, where Matthew are you? Perry, yeah. There he is in the corner. Yeah, so Matthew there Perry you go. passed away. So a well. lot more that we didn't even get to, but the list is considerable. Quite a talent pool that has moved on. Yes, and uh, the year's not done. <laughs> the year's not done. You morbid person. I am. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>